Look into my OCZs. God, that was an awful joke. All right now, I've got the uh, Vector 150. Is that the right one? Yes, no, I did the wrong one. Vertex 460 and the Vector 150 right here in my hands. Now, OCZ, they started to suffer a few years ago, and uh, then Toshiba came in and saved them. And that's a very good thing because OCZ had an amazing R&D department, and we didn't want that to go to waste. They were working on their uh, Indie Lynx barefoot um, controller, and that's what we have right here. We've got a very, very similar controller. These are also very similar to the previous Vertex and Vector um, SSDs. They kind of picked up where they left off and they've moved over to Toshiba NAND Flash. It's 19 nanometer Toshiba NAND Flash as a matter of fact. And both of these drives that we're looking at are 240 gigabytes. Um, and, and there's some interesting technologies going on here. There's over provisioning and that sort of thing. Um, and trim and uh, they're both almost identical. They literally, they're both almost identical. Very, very similar here, except for the, um, the flagship here, the Vector is slightly faster and has a much better warranty uh, than the Vertex, but the Vertex is, I mean, it's like the same stuff on the inside, really. Just a slightly uh, different variation on the controller. It's the M10 rendition, and this is the M00. So, all right, let's just go ahead and talk about what we have here in our hands. Again, 240 gigabytes each, and one thing I like about this is that they're pretty consistent um, as far as the read and write goes. In, in the different flavors, like the 240, the 120, and also the 480 gigabyte, pretty similar. Uh, but on the box, they, they advertise around 550 and 530 read and write, with this one being slightly faster. Uh, and the IOPS, this one is up to 100,000 IOPS with the um, uh, 4K random reads, and the random writes are around 95,000 IOPS on the box. This one is um, 90,000 and 95,000 for the read and the write. So um, just really, really similar in performance. Let's go ahead and get it one thing out of the way. The thing that makes the difference here with the performance is that the controller on this, uh, on both of these units, it has an ARM processor and a RISC processor on both of these, uh, but the the, um, the vector here is clocked at 400 and the memory that's on here, there's some micron memory on here, the memory that's on here is clocked at 1600 megahertz. This one clocked at 350 megahertz and the memory is clocked at 1333 and really that makes up the difference here between these two. So the vector here, the flagship model has a ridiculous uh, durability and a ridiculous warranty. Um, the older models, I think it was like 20 gigabytes a day for, for three years or five years, I forget what it was, but this one anyway, uh, they're saying that you can do 50 gigabytes a day uh, for for five years, or I think somewhere like 91 terabytes in total, but um, that 91, 90 something terabytes in total. So there's a stipulation in there uh, with, with, the, with the five year warranty. Whereas the Vertex, they're saying 20 gigabytes a day for three years. So that's the, the big difference here. Now, the only thing that competes with the Vector uh, that I've seen out there is possibly the SanDisk Extreme with its crazy 10 year warranty. And I haven't seen one of those or touched one of those yet other than what we saw at Computex. Uh, so right now, this has, the, you know, as far as my own personal experience, this has um, just, just the best, um, I guess the best warranty that I've seen. Uh, another thing that's interesting about both of these units is they both offer encryption, hardware-based encryption. It's AES 200, 256 or AES 256-bit uh, encryption. Now, um, it's not compatible with BitLocker because it doesn't take advantage of the protocols that Windows uses for BitLocker. So you can't use it for that, but you can use it for a lot of other things. Um, it's really nice to see that there's hardware encryption on board. Yes. All right, let's, uh, let's get down to business and talk about the actual benchmarks that we did ourselves. All right, so on the screen right now, we've got the uh, Addo benchmark results from the, uh, the Vertex. As you can see there, we're, we're getting pretty close to the, you know, they advertised 550, maybe even a little bit above that, uh, 515, 530. It's pretty much as advertised. And then with the Vector, just ever so slightly faster. Um, now, this is not anything that's blowing me away. This is pretty much what I expect from drives in this price range. Um, I mean, you're, this is competing with the newer Sandfor stuff and, and all of that. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's got a lot of competition right now. Uh, so it's exactly what I expect as far as the performance goes. Um, and I do really like the Toshiba NAND. Okay, now let's check out the um, ASSSD benchmark. Uh, first off with the, uh, the Vertex. And here's the Vector. See, the Vector is also a little bit better. And now with the IOPS. Uh, same story there, we're getting pretty close to what's advertised, possibly slightly under what's advertised. Here's the Vertex on the screen now, and uh, here's the Vector 
Uh, one thing interesting to notice, notice with the vector is it's slightly lower than 100,000. It's about right there, though. So really, this is just a basic video to show you what OCZ has been up to. Uh, we're going to be checking out the Revo drive really soon, and that's the one that you guys should freaking go nuts about and get excited. It's PCI Express with an onboard RAID controller, and it's stupid crazy, but it's also uh, not in the same price bracket. So really, it's nice to see the Indylix barefoot controller back and in action in the world. Uh, we, we need more controllers out there. And uh, these controllers are still pretty cutting edge, even though they're a couple years old. Uh, they've obviously made some improvements, and they've moved to the toggle flash with Toshiba and everything. So some things are different, but all in all, um, the, the thing that I'm going to say about this is I love the, um, you know, the, the warranty you get with this. I love the fact that this can do 50 gigabytes a day for five years. Uh, this one is also decent and almost the same speed, and it's going to be a lower price, um, just basically because the controller is slightly less fast than this one. But the bottom line here really is that there's a lot of options out there and uh, you know go for this one if you really want that warranty uh, go for this one if it's in you know if it's priced or on sale or if it's uh, you know a better price than some of the competition but that's the bottom line is there's a lot of competition out there that is you know, offering almost the same speed almost the same IOPS so I would probably recommend these while you're shopping around if the price is right and that's just uh, all there is to it What I'm going to say to you guys is if you see these, I was like doing my closing, man. I'm so sad now. I'm jumping off a bridge. This is, the, this is my life is over. Now it's time to check out that uh, Revo drive. Yeah, my eyebrows move around a lot when I talk about the Revo drive.